What's good folks? Rudd's here. Today's soap review will feature Tallow and Steel Kyoto. Uh, this is the limited edition Tallow and Steel scent released recently with the uh, the other two that they released in the new V3 soap base before moving the entire line to V3. Uh, this was released on June 16, 2018 and uh, is probably not available anymore. So just before posting this uh, video on YouTube, I heard from uh, Ryan over at Tello and Steel. Apparently there will be a limited number of Kyoto sets available on July 21st through the Tello and Steel website, which I'll have linked below uh, as part of the original video anyhow. So if you do uh, enjoy this review and you do want to uh, grab a brand new set, check out TelloandSteel.com on July 21st. The um, V3 base aims to um, impart less soap base scent into the uh, fragrances used and um, unfortunately Tallow and Steel did announce that they will no longer be wholesaling to uh, stockists so you'll have to find them directly at tallowandsteel.com which I will link below as always. One note on this beautiful packaging um, although from what I understand this is not waterproof it is a nice textured uh, label, but it is not waterproof. So if you do happen to come across a set, I advise you uh, keep this far away from water, which isn't always easy in this hobby. All right, so Kyoto is named after the uh, city in Japan, which happens to be the former capital, uh, and it aims to symbolize the uh, quality and craftsmanship we've uh, we as Westerners have come to know from Japan. Um, they're notorious for their well-crafted offerings in several different industries as well as you know food culinary they're very good with culinary arts and uh, this is uh, quite the accord it features uh, seaweed um, seaweed cypress cedar perilla green tea and sea kelp and um, yuzu and i'll tell you what you get a yuzu punch up front that's quickly met with some uh sea kelp smell um almost like the smell you get at a uh at a high-end sushi bar you smell that that sea kelp going on and uh it's really nice um the scent is very well rounded with some uh smokiness and earthiness and um it's very bold and unique which is not uncommon with the tallow and steel uh, scent offerings. I know I've heard from a few folks that they get mostly the smoky earthiness, but I get more of the citrus and seaweed, which is quite a cool blend in my opinion. Uh, I'm up here in Saco, Maine for the week on vacation, and uh, this, this scent is cool for the uh, sea air I've been smelling each morning. Um, so very nice, very fitting for this vacation. Scent strength is uh, mid-strong, both off of the puck and remains mid-strong once lathered. And uh, quite honestly, because of the uniqueness of this scent, um, there's nothing else in wet shaving that I've personally smelled that smells quite like it. So I'm not going to uh, offer any comparables at this time. All right, uh, you'll recall from my previous review of the Tallow and Steel Sicily that the uh, V3 base shows no appreciable improvements from the V2 base. Um, both bases are extremely good bases, knocking on the door of elite status. Um, this base loads very easily into your brush. I'd call it thirsty, but not overly thirsty. Um, and when properly dialed in, it, it really feels to me like creme fraiche it's got a beautiful sheen to it and it's uh, dense but not extremely voluminous uh, slickness both primary and residual is very good on this soap base no problem buffing with no visible lather and the uh, the post shave is where it's at with this soap base it's just wonderful um, they put a lot of skin food in in the uh, 
ingredients which I will list below uh, for you to see but it really uh, leaves your skin feeling soft and nourished uh, well after the shave so kudos to them on that the um, resulting shave score if you recall from Sicily is a 90 which puts them on par with uh, soap bases such as the 2018 Noble Auto release as well as uh, Oleo Soapworks canard base All right, folks, we're back. Uh, wonderful shave with uh, this towel and steel Kyoto. Like I said, if you can find it, I think uh, you're going to enjoy its uniqueness. Um, really cool scent, really cool idea. Um, I was fortunate enough to be loaned this, so I'm, I'm happy to have uh, been able to share with you. And uh, I certainly think many of you will agree with me on this review. So check it out. If you can't check it out, definitely check out some of their new scent offerings. Um, from what I understand, they're very well received so far, and uh, I think you saw that in the Sicily review that I did a couple weeks ago. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. If you're not a subscriber, please become one. See ya.